two. Okay, taking up again with semi-strong form efficiency. We introduced it in the first lecture. We talked about it being how well the market incorporates information that is public in the public database set here, and how well it incorporates it into the stock price. The main way, as Fama suggested in his 1990 paper, the main way to test this is with event studies. An event study basically takes a, a group of stocks that have similar news and see how fast it reacts, the market reacts to putting that piece of information into the database. How quickly it announce, or reacts to the public announcement of new news. And what we do in an event study is we group things in event time. Event time is centered on day zero. Day zero is the date of the announcement. It used to be in months, now it's in minutes even in some cases. But what you do is when it is announced, you see how fast the market reacts. And you go back in time, you day, day minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. You can go back as far as you want, and similarly you go out in front of time, one, two, three, etc. The longer you go in event time, the more model dependent it becomes, the more uh, confounding variables might enter your, into your math, into your equation. So you want to be careful, but I have great faith in short run event studies, event studies that look over a few minutes, a few hours, a few days. Um, all are very, very good, and they measure typically what we call cumulative abnormal return. This is the cumulative, so we accumulate it over the life of the, the study of the raw return, the actual return, minus a market predicted return. Market return. And I really should say market return prediction. Uh, Market return, we'll just go with that. That leads to excess return. Realistic what we're doing is we're basing off a market model, but it's probably a little bit beyond the scope of these videos. So, what we see typically is something that looks like this, a little run up in advance, and then goes something like that. That's what happens usually if we're in good news, we have a good news announcement, and we have a jump in price. There is a large debate about this beforehand, before and run up in advance might be indicative of insider trading, but it also might be just indicative of good research out there, people looking at public data, data sets, looking at public information, and predicting what's going to happen next. So I'm not quite as concerned as others are about the run up in advance. Yes, it could be insider trading, but there are many other reasons as well. What I am interested in particularly, however, is the right angle that should happen afterwards. Uh, if models if we correctly use the information that we put in the database, we should see back to essentially noise afterwards. If we overreact to news, we would see a downward drift afterwards. And if we underreact to the news once we put it in, we would see long run upward drift. There have been studies that have found all of these for different topics. For example, earnings announcements tend to be a long word upward drift for whatever reason. Um, when we announce good news, we don't incorporate it all immediately. Um, some other older papers look at spin-offs. Spin-offs, this upward drift continued for up to three years. Big problem. Uh, a lot of those long-term problems, however, are driven by our models. Our models of forecasting this market return aren't very good. So be a little concerned with that, but worry particularly, for my class at least, about the short run. Are we, there do markets respond quickly to new information? And the answer seems to be an overwhelming yes. Markets respond within seconds in most cases to new news. There's another way of testing whether markets are semi-strong for me for some. And this way has been around for a long time as well. It is essentially looking around to see if there are people using public information who are consistently beating the market. And there are some. Clearly we've all heard of Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is using publicly available information and consistently beats the market. Uh, and when we say beats the market, we have to be careful here because it is not just beating the S&P 500. So if we have a risk return line here, I don't want you to think, oh gee, this is the return on the S&P 500 and we are beating the market just if we get above that. If we think about this in different quadrants, we have A, B, C, D. A and B are beating the market because they are above this true risk return line, true risk reward line, whatever we want to call it. If we want to call it cap N, we want to put beta down here, or however you want to call it. These two are above the line. C and D are below the line. These 
and B beat the market, C and D do not beat the market. However, and often is the case, people look at this and they say, well, gee, D beat the S&P 500. Well, yeah, D did beat the S&P 500, but just because they took more risk. So be careful. You make sure to beat the market on a consistent basis. You want to do it on a risk-adjusted basis. If we look at the number of people who beat the market on a risk-adjusted basis, we find that it is very small. It's not zero, and there are some people who do it. Um, what we don't know is whether they're lucky or whether they're really, really good. Um, my guess is that most of us, myself in particular, are not that good, and we would be better off trying to match the market. If markets are semi-strong form efficient, and the implication of which is we should watch transaction costs, we should lower and keep transaction costs very low, we should watch taxes, and we should keep uh, watch our risk, we should keep a diversified portfolio, etc. So don't spend so much time researching stocks, trying to find the next winner, because or timing the market worse yet, because we're probably not going to be right on that. Watch the downside, watch taxes, and watch transaction costs. So the argument is largely if markets are semi-strong form efficient, I would say they are efficient, but they are not perfect.